All right, everyone, it's time to test the, uh, the theory here. Uh, 300K-ish, I'm into this sucker, and we're about to start, well, actually, you're watching this video. This is the launch of the giveaway. The giveaway has now begun, and uh, let's see if, uh, see if you guys like this car enough to uh, help me not lose a, a zillion dollars. On a serious note though, this car is beautiful, man. It's, it's got 31,000 miles on it. It was slightly janked when I got it. I've spent a lot of time, quite a bit of money, uh, getting it to the point that it's at now. Actually, right now it's dirty, but uh, we're about to wash it together. Uh, but what you do, go to obsessgarage.com. Uh, there's a bunch of tchotchkes, a bunch of things you can buy. Some I think are cool, some the young guys at OG think are cool. Um, the other thing you can do, if you don't want to mess around with any of that junk, you can just simply buy a digital entry. Uh, for every $5 you spend, I think you get, what, 10 entries or something like that. All the rules are on there. Uh, and at the end of two months, so June 2nd through July 31st, uh, so a few days after that, early August, uh, we're going to do the drawing and we're going to change somebody's life. Uh, this car has changed my life and I've only had it for six months or so. So somebody's going to get this sucker and um, hopefully somebody gets it and can afford to pay the tax. Uh, maybe say get yourself a title loan on the thing and, uh, and you know, make some payments on it. But uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully this, uh, somebody gets this thing can enjoy it for a, a, a long, long time. Uh, but it's an awesome car. It's uh, been such a unique experience. And I figured what better way to start a giveaway than to do what I do. Well, I don't know if I do it best, but uh, what I do often, uh, and that's a wash and talk. Uh, so we'll, we'll talk about the car and uh, all the different parts and pieces of it. Uh, there'll be content, tons and tons of videos we're going to make, tons and tons of Instagram posts and, uh, and, and other um, updates to sort of share with you what the car is, what was done to it. And, um, and uh, over the course of the next couple of months, we'll be, we'll be doing all that stuff. So let's get set up uh, to wash and uh, get this puppy clean so we can go and uh, shoot some really you know, beauty shots over at uh, HQ later today. All right, everyone, so the giveaway process is interesting. You know, the reason I did it the first time in, uh, I guess it was, what, two years, two and a half years ago, maybe? I don't know when the first one was. It was the 1M, the orange 1M. And uh, actually, I saw that car at PSI in Orlando. Turned out it was my friend Alan's. I didn't even know that. Uh, but it was sitting there at uh, Adam LZ's open house. And I, uh, I said, man, you know, I'd like to own one of those someday. And Sean says, well, technically, it's for sale. And uh, it, you know, it was a little bit janked, so I needed to work my magic on it. And I'm like, well, this could make for a good series of videos if I modified this thing. The problem is I'm gonna spend too much money on the thing and I'm gonna buy it for a premium price and then I'm not gonna be able to sell it for any more of a premium that I'm already buying the thing. Uh, and so that's when uh, you know, lots of people have been doing giveaways. And I said, well, what if I did it a little differently and did it my way and just do the car exactly the way I would want if I was going to keep it for the rest of my life. And, uh, and then maybe we could sell some t-shirts and some hats and some things like that. Because uh, it doesn't work to sell, we'll make a dedicated video on this and explain giveaways in general, but it doesn't do us any good, like I would go to business, if I just gave away $300,000 cars or $100,000 cars inside of the normal you know, daily volume of sales. It doesn't work. So I can't just open up the store and sell things because then, you know, those of you, most of you that are buying in the giveaway are people that are already buying in the first place. Uh, and so, yeah, it might garner a little bit more, uh, but I need to sell things that have like a higher markup, higher margin in order to make this, this thing work. And so I, I ask myself, you know, I don't play lotteries. I don't do that kind of stuff, but what would I enter into? And I'd always entered into like the BMW, uh oh, what's going on there? I always entered into like the BMW uh, Club of America. Do I have the first one of these fail? Or do I just need some? I'm about to find out. This is the wrong type of fitting for this, uh, for this type of tip. I've been using it because I haven't, I haven't gotten a 7.5 yet. Let's see if it... 
Okay, it just needed, uh, it needs pressure in order to lock in. So this, this particular type of tip is not the right type for this. I've just been using it because it's been working. I thought maybe the O-ring fail. I haven't had any O-ring fails that fail on any of these uh, Mosmatics. So anyway, I, I ask myself, you know, I'm not a lottery player. I don't want to advocate people, uh, you know, waste their money on things. But what would be something that I would be interested in doing um, that would be, you know, would be fun, would be reasonable, would be practical? And so the idea of me doing a giveaway was born in that I was going to be true, very transparent. I think I made like $40,000, $40,000 net on that, what I'd spent on the car net of you know what you guys bought and then each one's been a little bit bigger a little better and so this one is a big gamble i paid two hundred sixty thousand for this car uh, i'll share the spreadsheet uh, but i think i think we're 296 in i have to buy the new tail light because the tail light's cracked um so yeah 290 say 300,000, just shy of two three hundred thousand in and then i've got to pay to do the giveaway and all that um so Spent, you know, spent quite a bit of money to get this thing. This is a big, big gamble. Uh, so I'm hoping this goes pseudo semi-viral and lots of you buy stuff. Um, if it were me, you know, I would find something in the store. We've got some of the things that I think are really cool. We're gonna make a video after this uh, today of uh, all the different things. You know, some people are gonna get mad at me. I wanna buy this or that. Well, again, I can't sell you, you know, like a, a bunch of Saber Sonic cabinets and then do a giveaway. I need to sell the Sonic cabinets to survive. Uh, and so we need to sell some other stuff, some additional stuff in order to make that work. All right, so we're set up to do the wheels. Got my winch bucket ready to go. So let's clean the wheels. So it's like a billion degrees outside and like 100% humidity. So I'm washing in here. I don't give a crap what anybody says. Um, remember, the Swiss Tracks has uh, has um, you know little channels under it, so it'll all the water will run. It'll head that way, uh, and then after I'm done here, what I'll probably do, I'll just open it up and uh, let the let the water evaporate, and uh, we'll be good to go. Deluxe, look at that, that looks great. I probably don't even need to do this. The car isn't super dirty, it was sitting out in the rain, it went and got an alignment done. Uh, shoot with the alignment, I have a little bit more gap than I'd like. Uh, the problem is the stock suspension, I've been torn on this, because on GT cars, I don't like the mess of the suspension. I mean, it's pretty darn good. I, I will say that I think the 997 stock suspension isn't nearly as sophisticated as the uh, 991 stock suspension, so, I've kind of been torn on whether I should do it. I just don't want to mess it up. Um, you know, in some cars, when you go aftermarket, you can make it worse than, than better. And you know, the Porsche GT cars have such great factory suspensions. Uh, but if I come lower, uh, if I lower the front, uh, then you start to get into spring float where you don't have any preload on it, which is not advisable. So if I was going to do that, I should do like a helper. I should do a, a spacer and a helper or like a, like a pseudo, uh, what do they call that? Like a like an additional collar that goes between the main spring and the helper spring, uh, like a like a secondary perch, I guess you could say. Uh, and um, I don't want to start to get into that because then you might have issues with, you know, floaty feeling suspension and stuff. So I think the better thing to do is just leave. It's like a fingerish gap. Uh, is to leave leave that finger gap, and you can't just do spacers on a uh, you can't do spacers at all on a on a on a center lock wheel. Uh, but of course, this is completely different. But the only thing that's the same uh, from when I got it, the suspension spring. It has an aftermarket Swift spring on it, uh, which improved these quite a bit. Uh, stock coilover, uh, stock pads, but new pads uh, has um, refinished, redone uh, calipers. Uh, so the calipers uh, have been redone, uh, has the original uh, rotors, but this car had spent quite a bit of time on the track. So I think for the vast majority of its life, uh, these, these uh, uh, carbon ceramic rotors weren't on the car. Uh, so they're, they're in great condition. So there's no reason to mess with those. They should last the life of the car. These are uh, BBS MTSPs in, uh, you know, 19s in the, in the, like the perfect stock offset. Uh, and then we have, um, you know, cup twos. You know, the cup twos here are uh, um, uh, quite a significant upgrade. What's going on here? I had to push that in to get that on the. 
So that's what's been changed here. New uh, cap, these caps are like 200 bucks. Uh, new center lock nut. Uh, and then I rode force, mounted and balanced these myself. So they're, uh, they're really, really dialed. So significant difference. And of course, you know, alignment is done. So all four new wheels, new tires, new center locks, new center caps, new um, uh, refinished, basically new uh, calipers, uh, roughly new pads, new-ish. Um, um, rotors, and then a you know a, an alignment setup, uh, and we've got a pretty pretty decent uh, looking uh, stock setup. Pretty a pretty significant difference from uh, where it was when I got the darn thing. That's for sure. So this. Um, this giveaway will run for two months, which is pretty normal. What I've normally done with most giveaways has been a two month giveaway. And you know, it's not really a freaking giveaway. It's more of a, uh, that's just what we call it, you know, legally. You have to go and get an attorney and then we have to have certain rules and there's a whole, you know, specific setup and system you have to do. The bond on this costs like, I have to bond in New York and Florida. Uh, I think that I haven't priced it yet, but I'm sure Chris has. The bond on this is probably ten, twelve thousand um, dollars. We're going to value the prize at uh, at two sixty, because technically speaking, these modifications don't really add value. It does for me or you, you know, that wants wants the modifications and wants the improvements, uh, but for you know for the value of the car, it really doesn't help much. Um, I don't have the stock tire wheels and tires because these are way better. I don't know why you'd want anything else but these. They look fantastic. And uh, the ones that were on here, I sold them. They needed to be refinished. They were powder coated. Uh, I, I, the original, they were powder coated. They weren't the original uh, white gold wheels. So I just sold them to help recover some of the cost because these wheels were like nine grand or something like that and tires were another 2200 bucks so you've gotta and then if you amortize the cost of my mounting and balancing machines probably it cost me like three thousand dollars at a set of every set of tires to do <laughs> because uh, i do like five sets a year and those machines were a lot of money so anyway the uh these, these, the finish on these is fantastic. I've, you know, denibbed, coated their, their setup. I don't know if it gets much better. Let's do our tires here. Let's see how our tip's looking. I'm really having problems with tips. So we're, we're on it with the, uh, with the press all engineer, the head engineer, working with the owner. I think we're getting close. So when you have coated with carbon ceramics, this process, uh, this is where, I need to talk to Dave Phillips about this, but I'd love to have a slightly less alkaline uh, uh, brake buster. If someone brought up a good point, if we're doing all this like pre-cleaning stuff, uh, with the uh, with the snow foam, the uh, we should probably consider doing um, doing into the wheels too. But you know, well, the alkalinity of the brake buster should do a lot of pre cleaning anyway. They're dusty. There's a little dust and dirt on here. This is the this is the dream. Wash the car in the garage. Where it's not super dirty. What are these 325s in the rear, I think? Yeah. So, again, this giveaway is a big, big gamble. I mean, I need you guys to really participate. Uh, I know I would buy something, I'd probably buy a couple thousand dollars worth of stuff. 
I just can't wait till I call the person that wins this thing. Man, that would be, could you imagine? I just can't even imagine. I, it's hard for me to imagine even having this thing and I bought it and paid for it and taken the risk with it. Um, man, it's, uh, it's gonna be freaking cool. The, 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 this car came about in that my, uh, my friends at Titan, they ended up getting this car, showed up, my friend Wes posted it. I wanted a, I've wanted a, this car, this gray black, you know, debadged, uh, and you know, the low mile ones now are like 350 to 450. Did I forget to clean the face of the wheel? I think I did. Yeah, let me redo that. Sorry about that, I was messing up. So, what the heck am I doing here? So that, um, the idea of, uh, sort of popped into my head. I'm like, you know, I don't, I don't want a 30,000 mile one. If I, you know, for me to get one of these, I'd want to collect it like my E92. But this would be a great way to experience it. Could I, and I, I called Brad, who's my um, SEO guy and, um, you know, runs, runs a lot of stuff with our advertising and stuff. I said, man, could I, could I pull this off? Do you think we have the numbers? Could we, you know, we did great on the M2 giveaway, the M2CS. Could I make this happen? You know, would it, could I pull it off? And he said, absolutely, we can. So I had Wes bring the car up. And, uh, you, know, I, I, you know, looking at it, it's kind of, it was, you know, slightly janked, but I'm like, I could fix this, I could fix that, I can make it, you know, the key requisite with a giveaway with me, like with the 1M, can I make it acceptable to me? Like, would I, would I accept this car? And the thing that's really, I think, telling on this is that um, I thought about a few times, you know, let's just skip the giveaway, I'll just keep it. It'd be nice to have a driver, you know, have this car where I could drive it, not worry about losing a bunch of money. That would be cool. These wheels are so good. This is the, this really made the car. As soon as I saw them, I, mean, they, I think they've been out for a long time, but I don't know why I never saw them before, but my buddies at Supreme Power, who I bought these from Eric uh, at Supreme Power, I, um, he was sort of posted a few, few photos in the last couple of years. I'm like, man, if I ever got a 997, this would be it. Lighter weight, proper offsets. I wish it was a little bit flusher, but that's, that's BBS for you. So, I won't even get into the interior here. I'll talk about that, but most of the money was spent uh, on this thing, on getting the interior dialed. The thing I've been torn on is the paint, uh, or was torn on, I should say, is that uh, the whole car is covered in PPF. It's a, it's Expel. It's about a year old. It had lots of embedded dirt in it, and so doing a perfect finish polishing really fixed it, man. It made it. Uh, I mean, you can see the thing on camera. You know, oftentimes cars on camera look, you know, everything looks shiny. This thing is shined up, man. It looks it looks really sharp. I keep skipping steps here. Let me get the easy detail behind the caliper. Um, but the you know, of course, the, the thing I'm forgetting about, which has transformed this car, was the full dry ice cleaning. So the whole underside, we restored all the plastics. I bought all new. Uh, this thing had all kinds of like missing bolts and nuts and bolts. It, uh, it needed some Mormon obsession in order to get the thing. I still need to get a couple of, uh, I've, uh, sometimes you order screws and stuff, they're just not the right ones. And so I need to get a couple around the tail lights. When I order the new tail light, I'm gonna try to find that. But in general, getting all the proper parts and pieces put back 
where it belongs. Uh, we did, uh, I also put a uh, lithium ion battery on this, which I think makes a pretty big difference in weight. But all the, uh, all the electronics are functioning. There is a, uh, an issue with the airbag light. I'm gonna have to take it up to Porsche next week. So the steering wheel in here is a aftermarket version. Um, and so the airbag is different. It's a different style. And so I don't know that the airbag was ever coded properly to the, to the, for the car to accept it. So I got to take it to the dealer and I hope that I can, either I need to get the right airbag or whatever, because having that light on is really annoying. But the interior is ace. I decided, you know, it, it looks really dark in here, largely because the windshield has a 50% tint on it. This looks like it's about 20%. You know, it's a Florida car right now. I mean, you know, odds are someone in Florida's gonna win again, we'll see. It seems like 50% of our cars have gone to Florida winners. Um, I don't know why, but uh, I'm gonna leave the tint on and let the, let the winner decide what they wanna do with it. Every time I'm about to take it off and I go outside and it's a freaking billion degrees. So I have a tendency to just leave. We'll see how it goes on my touring. Uh, Ryan at Auto Pink Art is doing the, uh, doing 70% for me, which I've never done 70% all around. I always do the full, full, full normal. 25, 30%. Uh, so we'll see how I, how I like that. The other thing, I haven't driven it yet since we did the, um, we did the alignment, Mike, Mike took it up and got the alignment done. Uh, so we'll see how it feels, twitchiness and stuff. but I might have to take it to driver's choice and have them really dig into the suspension. Actually, I'm not gonna worry about the exhaust because I have to change it to the Dundon setup. Messing up my process here. I'm thinking too much on this, this video. I'm telling you, the uh, dual Krenzel setup is. After uh, I washed, I actually washed this car the other day, and I used the KWS at HQ, the big 20 millimeter pump. And the biggest difference is these have more flow but doesn't maintain its heavy pressure, like when it's in bypass right now. And so there's not that like super strong kick. I'm not gonna do a pre-wash because the car is not really very dirty. So we're gonna do right the GSF. Good man. It's uh, the one thing I will say about the 997. I think uh, I think I might like washing this more than the E92. The E92 M3 is my favorite car to wash. This one, this one's up there.
especially when it's smooth and dialed in. The windows are dialed in. Yeah, man, it's good. It's really good. That's why I'd, I, I figured I'd polish it. I was able to get all of the uh, all the marks out. Shoot, I forgot about that. It had um, it had these lines on it uh, from the from the the guy had put um, you know decals all over it, and then it had like G2 yellow GT3s on, it, and I took all that off. I forgot about that. So you know the exterior we have a new have a new front lip, so new new front lip piece, which they used to be like a hundred something bucks. Now they're like five hundred. But that really changed how it looks. What else do we do the exterior? I mean, the biggest thing in the exterior was spending a week doing the, the dry ice cleaning. That really transformed the whole darn thing. Getting all these plastics restored up here. I did new wipers. Um, of course, we changed all the fluids, did the, did the, um, all that stuff, did the uh, diff and trans. Uh, the axle lift was broken, so changed the, um, the pressure switch there, fixed that. Uh, obviously fixed the height of the suspension. The suspension was all wonked. It had the, uh, I didn't like the, uh, the toe arms it had on it, so I bought factory toe arms to replace that to get that back to having one less adjustability point. There's just too much adjustment option, unless you're really astute uh, it's, uh, as, a, uh, as an alignment guy. It's hard to get that right, but the you know the polishing, coating of the exterior just made this whole thing just freaking great, man. Put the wheels on it, had that coated. So I mean, the exterior alone, if you count the dry ice, I mean, I have at least 60, 50, 60 hours into the thing, uh, into into the exterior. All right, let's get the foam cannon set up here. Gosh, it feels good my garage is done, man. All I have is some drawers that I'm kind of organizing, but I've got everything set up the way that I like it. Makes me happy. It's been a long time. You know, first of all, I didn't have a garage, you know, at, at the Woodgate house. And then I just finished the house in, uh, in Harbor Hills and then we moved here. And so in the last three years, Two and a half years I've been in flux. Of course, I had the uh, also trying to get the yarn building set up. So now the yarn building garage and this garage are now complete. The drawers are structured and organized. I've got all the tools and everything in position. It feels really good. And then to be playing with this dream car and then being able to really focus. Like I'm actually shooting this video a week before we start the giveaway. Like to, we're being so much more proactive. I just feel feel good about life, man. I just hope that this all comes together so I can go drive these cars the way that I want to drive them in the mountains and stuff like that. And that's uh, that's my next next hope. Get my get my priorities right or corrected. Get my mind corrected. Get my health corrected. I'm digging deep into that and. Uh, and then hopefully my driving will correct itself. I freaking know how to drive. All right, let's do this. This quick disconnect is awesome, the new one. It's good. I gotta get this. Uh, I got these, these uh, MTMs, not the Mosmatic. I need to get the uh, Mosmatic plugs on my foam cannons. in a garage is to like not offshoot and shoot it off to my freaking TV to just be in control of your phone. So 
So when I'm rinsing and when I'm foaming, just make sure to uh, point down at an angle rather than just sideways and try to keep the, keep the soap within a reasonable area. Like you see, I'm not even hitting the cabinets. nice right there. The other nice thing about washing, and I'm starting to think, maybe I will do Swiss traction in the wash bay out there if we ever get that done. Um, it does make for a, uh, a nice washing experience that the floor isn't slippery. Maybe we can make some nice little uh, like Schluter joint or something where we can we can do the Swiss track just in the, uh, in the wash bay area. Because if you do something nice like polished concrete, it's gonna be kind of slick. And so then you do rough concrete and then rough concrete holds all the dirt and stuff and just looks, doesn't look very good. Like if you do a non-polished finish on the concrete. The thing that the hold up is the darn wind loads and stuff, like no one, I can either do a junk like metal trust pole barn easily, but I don't want that. I want it to be basically a house and I want it to be block and stucco. And so I'm trying to figure out how do I get this engineered and I don't know. Freaking priorities. I get my priorities straight. I guess I can't complain. The garage here is done. I'm able to wash in here. It's air conditioned. That's the other thing is, if we were out in the wash baby sweating our balls off, plus the lighting wouldn't be very good. You'd be, I mean, it's like, what time is it? Like noon. So we'd be, we'd be hurting right now if we were outside, sweating crazy. I'm not even sweating, I'm just chilling. This is great. I just didn't want to, I mean, the ultimate goal would be to have an indoor, dehumidified, perfected wash bay and, um, I just don't want to skip that progressive step, you know, but maybe I should build an enclosed wash area. I also didn't want to spend 300 grand. I wanted to spend like a hundred. Cause I mean, although I like it here, I mean, we're not going to be here forever. I mean, if I was here for two years, that'd be pretty, that'd <laughs> be a lot. That's asking a lot. Two years from now. But you know, if I'm here for five years, that would be uh, pretty significant. I actually went down, they're building a really nice house down the road and, uh, and in here in this community, the layout is pretty awesome. It got my gears turned. I'm like, oh man, this is, this is cool. But then I also see the thing being held up. They're waiting on stuff and not working on it very often. Waiting on shingles, waiting on sheathing, waiting on who knows what else. They got air handlers, but not the, uh, not the condenser. And the one thing I need to do here is I need to order a tail light because this got cracked somewhere somehow in the dry ice process. And uh, exterior wise, I don't need to do anything else other than I just need to double check the alignment, see how I like it. I might need to take it to have it done again. A little more sophisticated. The interior, I just need to do the airbag. We finished the cage last week, so the cage is done. I'll show it to you when we vacuum. The interior, it's uh, satin black rather versus Big bird yellow, so it looks great. What are you doing, Shelly? Oh. Kate's here? But yeah, I feel like I, I had enough time with this car. It's, um, 
I'm still trying to decide, you know, did I check the box of this thing for me? I, I think I know the answer to this. I shouldn't say this because I'm doing a giveaway, but I only know one way to live, and it's to be purely authentic. So the plan, the whole reason I got this thing was that I'm gonna buy the, I'm gonna do this giveaway, buy this one from my friends at Titan. Uh, they, were, they were consigning on it. They were the consigning dealers. And uh, knowing that it isn't what I want, you know, forever. But it's a nice enough, bigger project that I could do and share with the world. And then we can do this giveaway thing. So I bought this with the intent to do the giveaway. And then I would, we would kill it. You guys would buy millions of dollars worth of stuff. And then I would go and find a super low mile example and then have it and keep it. But I don't think I want it. I think I want this car at like 200 grand or two, maybe even 250. But now like the example that I would want is gonna be, you know, 400. And I don't, I don't love it enough to where I'm like, you know, I have to, I wanna sell a kidney to get this thing. You know, I don't want to sacrifice my future and take the risks. And then I'd be so strung out every time I'm driving the thing. I don't, I don't want that. So I don't think I'm, I don't think I want one. I think, uh, I think this has scratched the itch. You know, I have my touring. And so I'm just not a collector type, you know? If I had a choice of grabbing the keys to this or grabbing the keys to a 991 GT3, I think I would grab the keys to the 99. Like if I was in the mountains, I would much rather have a 991 GT3 than this, 100%. Um, this is a handful, this thing. And, and that's why a lot of people love it. I'm a sissy, you know, <laughs> I'm a bit soft. And so I think, uh, the hardcoreness of the, you know, the heavy clutch and the kind of grindy um, shifting and the, you know, the growl, the Metzger and the, the kind of wonky idling you have. That this thing, uh, this thing is freaking cool. It's a great experience, and it's a car that I like to experience and I would like to own for a couple hundred grand, but not four hundred at least not at my station in life here. So, I don't think I'm going to make the sacrifices required to buy one of these after the giveaway. I feel pretty complete with it. So I'm a bit shocked by that, um, but I feel good. It, it's like, I feel, I feel like it's a, you know, one of those life goals that are kind of checked off. And who knows, maybe someday, someday I'll get an RS 4.0 and have that, but I don't think I'm gonna pursue, you know, paying what it's gonna require. And these things I think are gonna keep going up and up in value. Like this car, I think, I think if you were to buy this car, like if this were for sale, I think this would be somewhere close to 300 now, even you know with 30,000 miles, especially in the condition that I now have it in, where the interior is dialed, the uh, transmission, the fluids, the wheels, the tires, the brakes, you know, all that's dialed, the exhaust system that done is gonna be awesome. Um, I mean, I think it's probably a $300,000 car, even with 30,000 miles in it. Because now, you know, like a 15,000 mile version of this car is selling for, for like three, 315 to 330. A, 6,000 mile version is going for 350 to 405, I think was the high I saw listed. 
I don't know, they seem to be moving too because you know, I've been watching these cars religiously for a couple of years. So I just don't wanna, I don't wanna do that. So take that for what it's worth. I don't think I'll deter any of you from wanting this thing because it's freaking cool. I can't wait to do the Dundon exhaust on this thing. It's gonna be nasty. Head, Dundon, so it's Dundon street header, so catted header, side muffler delete, center section. So I'm gonna drop you know, 30 pounds off the car, gain 20 horsepower, and uh, gain a lot of awesome sounds. It's gonna be freaking sweet. Right, let's rinse it. Rinsing is such a joy with four gallons a minute. Let's turn this off. This is the best part, man. Ooh, a little foggy in here. Best part is clean up of this thing it takes two seconds. Just give me a towel. Well, this thing seems to be unraveling more than maybe because my hose is more broken in. I find myself having to wrap a bit more than I normally do. So I still think in a perfect world. If it wasn't so hot out, you'd want to wash with the doors open. Would help with the misting and all that stuff, but. I'm doing my PP plug, oh, it's right here. Put the PP plug in first, don't do it that way. See, nice. All right, let's dry the car off. I got my new setup here. My chargers, got power, it's all good. Perfect timing. A little more drying aid here. I don't know why. This part I love about uh, the washing experience, just kind of filling up bottles and... So the, uh, this concept of the giveaway, we're gonna see if, uh, my faith in you guys, my faith in humanity has continued because this is a big gamble for me. Because no matter what, July 31st, I'm giving this thing away. There's no opting out. I think the thing that's really gonna make it great is the, we've never had this before where you have the option to just do like a digital entry, a digital raffle. 
and that to me is much more profitable than buying products. So if you're asking for what I'd like you to buy, it'd be to basically essentially buy the raffle tickets because those I don't have to fulfill. You know, you don't, you don't have to like ship something out. It's good. It's it's about as good as it looks to you on camera right now. It's it's that good. It's come a long way from a lot of work by yours truly to get it to this point. There's a few times where I wasn't sure, thought maybe I'd made a mistake. Like when I had the numeric shifter that was kind of wonky and I had to, uh, thought I was gonna have to rebuild the transmission, send it to Seattle. It would have made for some great videos, but thank goodness I didn't have to do that. It had already been rebuilt. There already been, the gearing had been redone under heavy track use, the Mesger uh, Trans needs, uh, needs a bit of revamping and certain mileage. And uh, it's a common failure point. So luckily for me, it had already been redone and it was just the numeric short shifter was not aligned properly or something, I don't know. And so I went back to stock and now it's, now it's good. Yeah, so the tint is one of those things that I know most of you would probably rather have it without it. Again, I, it's easy to remove. So just to protect all the craziness of the interior, all the work in the interior to get it dialed, I'm gonna leave it. I would leave it if I kept the car. But if you live in Michigan or something and you win this thing, you probably won't need the darn tint. So you can just have somebody to take it off. You'd probably just, you'd have to pull the cage, which is, the cage is like, like an hour install. Take the seats and the cage out, have them, have a tent person take care of the removal of it. Cost you a few hundred bucks. But most people would, rather have the tent. I don't put these cars together by request. I put together what I freaking want. And then the hope is that others like things the way I like it. Thus far I've been largely correct. 100% correct. What do you think, buddy? So the giveaway is open to the US and Canada, except for Quebec. And um, I hope that somebody close wins it so I don't have to ship it to uh, Canada, but I think we're due. I think, I think someone in, uh, in, in Toronto is going to win it. That's my that's my guess. And we'll have to figure out how to, how to send it across the border. That'll be the dicey part. But I don't think it's all that difficult to do it. But even even if we do have a huge amount of subscription to this, this car will still be better odds than probably any other. You know, because we have a much more specific, much smaller following than like the above average YouTuber that does a giveaway. So the odds to win this would be much, much greater than pretty much any giveaway. So even though it'll be lower odds than because there's gonna be more people buying more stuff on this more likely because of how freaking cool this car, the, the, the choice of this car. Um, 
I think the odds are still going to be really, really good. But no, this thing is a, it's what you would call a driver. It's got, you know, it's got some, a few rock chips and things like that. It's not like my E92 where the thing is darn perfection. But for what it is, it is shockingly nice now. I just don't want you to be uh, overly, I want to be realistic here. This is not perfection. This is just really good. So this isn't the car that you would come and judge, uh, judge my detailing prowess. Actually, this, this car, you know, it took more work to get looking as good as it does than most of the other cars that I've had. I was really, really shocked when I polished the PPF because I thought I was going to have to pull it all off and have it redone. But it looks so darn good and so nice and it'd be such a shame to pull. This is like 7,500 bucks, $8,000 worth of the PPF on this thing. Um, to pull it off and redo it would be such a waste because it would only be maybe maybe 20% better than it is. So I don't think that would be worth the worth the move. And, and again, the thesis here is to, you know, what would I do if I was going to keep this car for a long time? Not, well, it's just a giveaway car, so I'll cut corners. That's not how I do this. It's where would I draw the line personally? Because you have to draw the line somewhere. But where would I draw the line if this were my car long term? But the cool thing about this car is that like whoever wins it, you can go rip this thing on the track. I mean, this thing is done it's serious track miles. You can't even tell. It's uh, this thing is rated rip. Feels freaking super strong and looks darn good doing it. Whatever it's doing, sitting still, driving fast, hard braking. This thing just looks good. This color is awesome. So after this, we'll see. Um, I don't know what my next giveaway is going to be. Uh, I want to do some bunch of garage giveaways. Um, and we're going to set it up in the rules that you have to have a garage. Otherwise, you're out. Because the only way to do the giveaway properly is to complete the story. You know, it didn't do me any good to not go do the garage once somebody wins it. It's nice, man. Look at that. This makes me smile. At least I'm good at something in this world. And it's cleaning stuff. Fixing stuff, cleaning stuff. It's good to be good at something. May not be the best, but at least I'm pretty darn good at it. And I had a really good time with this car. This is the first giveaway where I didn't feel like stressed. Like I bought this and I was ready for it. I had the the bandwidth to do it and had a lot of fun getting right into it. I didn't feel any like level of procrastination or um, the only thing that was a little dicey is I bought this thing and then my touring showed up and the M3 showed up at the same freaking time. So 
I didn't think that the M3 was anytime soon. I didn't think that the touring was anytime soon. And so I ponied up the cash for this. And uh, thinking I had time. And then they all came at the exact same time. I was freaking out a little bit about the cash outlay. But then, you know, the M3 just didn't feel right. So I sold that. And so that helped, helped alleviate it a bit. And uh, we've continued to have good performance. And I knew that this one would be a money that was shortly parked because we'll be doing the, you know, the giveaway here. But I've been, I, I, I like the idea of a, um, doing a giveaway on the new Lotus Amira, if I can get one of those. Um, I still would like to do the NSX. You know, Gen 2 NSX, I think that would be cool. I'd like to do one of those. GT4 RS, that'd be sick. We'll see how this does. Then, 458 Speciale. What do you think? Did I pull that off? 600 G's for one of those. We ran it for like four months. Six, seven hundred thousand dollar car. That would be cool. Certainly garner some attention. I'd have to get a loan for that one. So interior. Gosh, I don't even need to do anything. It's just a quick wipe down. It's clean. Um, the interior took the most time out of anything. So the seats needed restored. All the Alcantara needed to be uh, deep cleaned and sanded. Uh, believe it or not, you can sand Alcantara. I have some videos on, on doing that. Um, the Lots of the plastics needed to be replaced, the door sills. I needed to replace the latch on the glove box, um, deal with the transmission jankiness. Um, the buttons, the radio buttons were uh, gummed up. The steering wheel was all balled up, so I was able to restore the steering wheel. Fixing the door cards, so the door cards were all scratched and jacked up, I was able to restore that. Uh, the cage is now satin black instead of yellow. The whole interior has been deep cleaned and then treated with uh, color, color lock uh, sh leather, leather protection cream and the leather shield. Uh, the seat belts I restored, the door poles I restored, but now the interior looks proper in that it is uh, red belts, red poles, dark gray stitching, which I prefer. So this is the perfect interior spec for me. Uh, I do like the red little bit of red accent to me. When I think 997, I think red. I just think that that's the, that's the 997 color that I've always thought of when I, when I think of this thing. And then nice, clean, fresh Alcantara. The pedals are actually, I think they're red, red line pedals. They're actually really nice, so I left them. Um, they extended uh, the, the gas pedal extension. I can heel toe pretty well on this thing. Um, what else do we do to the interior? Oh, some new center console pieces. Replace this side. This door needed to get restored as well. So I kind of cleaned up and restored all the leather, all the Alcantara. What else did we do in here? Oh, repaired the leather. The, uh, it, it's pretty nice. It's acceptable to me. Uh, especially up top here. So I was able to repair and blend that with the color lock system because that was, uh, it was worn through. I would have just bought a new leather cover, but you can't just get one. I mean, it might be three months, it might be eight months, it might be 18 months before you can get a replacement cover for it. So I didn't have any like definitive timing on it being able to get that. So. I think, uh, I think my choice to repair it was the right one. A 
Because some of these parts you can get, some of them you can't. But look how the interior looks good. Oh, new floor mats. I feel like there's some other things in here too that I'm missing. Gosh, it looks good. It looks brand new. Feels brand new, smells brand new. That was a lot of freaking work, man. The black cage just completes the whole thing. Uh, brand new Edgar, Edgar bolster protectors. I'm sure I probably hacked off Ed because uh, he was yelling at me about the, uh, the, the other video I did the other day and I said, look, that's not how I do things. Please don't send me anything for free again. I don't like t anybody telling me what to do. I know how to sell stuff. It's by being real. The interior looks good. I don't even need to do anything. I'm gonna do a little bit of wipe down in there. But let's finish the uh, wheels, tires, and just wipe this center thing down here. New, uh, new hood struts, I had to buy those because they were jacked. Uh, like I said earlier, lithium ion battery. This just keeps on going, man. It's all the things that you'd want to do to make a car nice. All the things that you wonder why other owners don't either maintain that stuff or allow that stuff to go. I think most people just aren't cursed with this. This the obsession thing. And they're probably better for it, to be honest. And the thing to remember, you know, no one wanted these darn things. So back in 2010, these things would be sitting on dealer, in dealer showrooms. And for a long time, they sold for mid-hundreds. And so these cars were heavily tracked because they're cheap. They're cheap to maintain. There's like no maintenance to do, very little maintenance. Change the oil, change the spark plugs every 12,000 miles. These do have some track related things like, like I mentioned earlier, transmission things that you need to do. You need to rebuild the center lock thing, the, you know, the hubs every say 50,000 miles or so. But generally speaking, these things are maintenance free. Change brakes, pads, tires, and you're rolling. I do want to vacuum in here. Let me do that real quickly. This is what's so cool about our vacuum system is it makes a uh, quick little vacuum touch up take a few seconds versus like rolling the thing out, undoing the power cord, all that business. This is all I have to do. Get this thing out. Driver's mat here. I don't even need to really do that. Tell me that's not the most amazing thing ever. I freaking hate doing interiors, but largely because just to do that, 
I'd have to like get the thing out of the cabinet, undo the power cord, or I like now have the battery power one, but undo the, the hose, get the accessories out, go to the thing, try not to bang it off the front of the car, do the vacuuming, then put it all back away versus that. Man, it's freaking awesome. Changes the whole user experience. I mean, I just wanted to wipe down the interior. Just a quick little surface wipe. It's a little dusty. That's it. Nice and simple. Set the windows here. We just dress the tires and we're done. I didn't do the tires last time. Shake a roo. Cup 2s look so good on these things. Combination of these wheels and Cup 2s is freaking awesome. This combination of this thing just makes it so much quicker to do. Plus having your tires clean, prepped, maintained, makes it where you don't have to do a whole lot of work to keep them looking nice. But you know, if you're in a daily driving car, you're gonna have to work for that quite a bit. I mean, I find that the wheel coating, the tire coating stuff, even some of the new stuff just doesn't, doesn't work very well. This is still the best solution Dura coating and the Car Pro version, Tough Shines or Tough whatever it's called version, it's just not great. I'm just go around, just wipe it flat. What a what a great car, man. I'm sec I changed my mind. I'm gonna get one. <laughs> just 400,000, whatever. Just finance my future, get a big old loan, make payments forever. So, giveaway is now live. Links in the description, in the cards. Uh, go to obsessgarage.com, it'll be the banner image. Uh, you have many, many different options on enter. You can buy some stuff, you can buy a uh, raffle ticket, you can become a member. I think the membership program counts. Um, all this stuff, all the options will be there. And uh, you can buy whatever you normally like and just add digital entries to your, to your cart uh, if you wanted to do that. And then um, we may have some other things roll out as, as time goes on as we go through the, the giveaway. Just know that most of the things, pretty much everything you're buying, um, the advantage of buying it early is that we probably have it in stock and we'll ship it out. If you buy it sort of later in the process of the, you know, the monthly process of us doing this, uh, we, I don't know how many t-shirts we're going to sell. I don't know how many cutting boards we're going to do. I don't know how many individual parts and pieces we're going to do here and there. And so we buy some, but not enough. Uh, and so, because I don't want to end up with 10,000 water bottles and not, no one buys them. So uh, make sure that, um, I just hope you understand that we're gonna fulfill it as, as, you know, as the orders come in and then just know that everything's a pre-order and then we deliver it as soon as, soon as, it, as, soon as it arrives to us. So thanks for uh, all the support on the previous giveaways. I hope that you'll uh, consider joining this one. This is the best one. This is the, this is the car. This is um, gonna set the stage for I think the future of Obsessed Garage and doing this kind of cool stuff. It's, uh, this could, this could change your life, man. It's going to change mine just being a part of this. This is incredible. So anyway, thanks for watching. As always, stay tuned for more crazy. This giveaway is going to be unreal. See you soon.